you hear that? The purr of the engine. Settle down, settle down. Please, quiet down. Get back to your seat. Turn off all recording devices. Get ready. The film is about to begin. Hello, cast members. I am your director for this exam. You may call me Mr. Wrecker. It's the name I commonly use in the end credits. Uh, Mr. Rekka, please mind your verbiage. You're not on set. This is a classroom. No good! Cast members of the family, do remember that everywhere I stand is a stage. Cast members, please remember your lines. I'm currently playing the role of a guest lecturer, and you are my students. Please, stay in character. Ah, this guy looks familiar. Oh, I think I saw a picture of him in the Blue Hour. He's a really famous director, I think. Ah, Mr. Rekka. He's known for works such as Soul Shattered Dark Star, A uh, Fading Nebula, and the famous Knights of Miniature. Huh? I thought you only watch documentaries. His works are based on real life events. They are worth referencing. Uh, let me see what the script for this scene says. The examiner hmm, presides over the exam as the family tunes the students to discover their talents within their soul's melody. <sighs> Boring. I'm changing the directions of this scene. Cast members of the family? That's a wrap for you. W what? But tuning is the most important segment of the tuning test. Huh? Miss Sedina, 
In your 13 years and four months of teaching, you've committed seven counts of academic fraud. It seems your laziness has turned your artistic integrity into a pile of decaying film. Uh-oh. What? Uh, academic fraud? What are you talking about? This scene will determine the students' very futures. Yet your academy would have me produce such slop. It's no wonder the Iris family hasn't produced a good film in centuries. Uh, enough! You're only here as an examiner because of the acting dean. You, you can't dictate what we do. A according to academy regulations... We According to Academy regulations. Think carefully now. What do the Academy regulations say exactly? The Academy regulations very clearly state that the examiner's word is law in the examination room, so... Wait, but you're the examiner. What's going on here? Good, you finally connected the dots. On my set, the director's word is law. Well, I... Uh, huh? Members of the cast, I've reached a consensus with the producers. This exam shall now be an audition. Are you ready? I will surely find the... Perfect role for you. Uh, Mr. Rekka is so amazing. He convinced the family- That family member's reaction was strange. It's as if she suddenly changed her mind. Uh, it looked similar. But it can't be, right? Hey, student with the gray hair! It's your turn! Go to the performing arts classroom. Uh, it's finally your turn! Hurry and go! If you finish early, don't forget to tell us how it went! Uh, it's finally your turn! Hurry and go! If you finish early, don't forget to... to get famous as soon as Welcome to the audition. The audition process is simple. You need only answer a few questions. Of course, I won't be judging based on your answers alone. <laughs> I will be watching your every move on camera. I know you're Penacone's festive superstar, so I expect you to show me what you're made of. Scene one, take one, action. Hmm. Oh. Blech. This doesn't look right. Cut! Assistant director, change the scene, please. Okay, that'll do. <gasps> Let me see here. Perfect! You're born to be a performer! Knowing how to read people is a basic skill for a director. The way a performer speaks and behaves reflects their personality. For example, you expressed curiosity just now, which is a driving force for learning. Now, for the first question, please introduce yourself. Mm-hmm. 
That is indeed an important aspect of your identity. A very honest answer. Okay, second question. What are you most proud of about yourself? Oh, I get what you mean. The ability to not shy away from danger can bring great value when filmmaking. Now, for the third question. I'll let her do the honors. This is my assistant director, a reliable partner who's skilled at cinematography, script supervising, editing, and more. Has a better eye than me when it comes to casting performers. Mmm, a very perceptive question. <laughs> How do you respond? Oh, you were tactful in the face of someone making things difficult for you. However, the assistant director doesn't like to be praised for her appearance. Fine. Pretend I didn't say anything. She's very happy with your praise. Now, the final question. Nameless, your memory began on board a station of erudition, where you then boarded a train of trailblaze. In your journey, you witnessed the will of preservation, the determination of the hunt, and the dispute between harmony and order. You ran across many different sets and witnessed many different stories. Did you find a theme, or perhaps a dream, that belongs solely to you? It's only natural for a director to familiarize himself with the performer's resume before an audience. An open theme can encourage creativity. Cut! You have finished your exam. Let's take a look at your results. Most of your answers were calm and composed, like a reliable cinematographer. Combined with your experience in assisting the architects, the best academy for you is... Dream Weaver Academy! What do you think? Are you satisfied with your result? Very good. I'm grateful you're willing to listen to your director's suggestions. It's truly an honor. The audition is over. You are now a student of Dreamweaver Academy. Here is your student card. Drama concealed within this campus is stirring. This is where your story begins. Don't disappoint me or the audience now, my dear leading character. Leading character? Drama? This Mr. Rekka says some strange things. My exam is over. Sealed within this campus is stirring. This is where your story begins. Don't disappoint me or the audience now, my dear leading character. <gasps> oh, can you? This is where your story. Uh, that 
Mr. Rekka said I'm better suited for Dreamweaver Academy instead of Charmony Academy. I really thought I had the acting chops. Now I have to go pour concrete in Dream's Edge. It's not fair. Did you accept the assignment? Of course I did. He was all serious when he said I would encounter a future full of dramatic tension in Dreamweaver Academy. It made me really curious. Uh, it's no skin off my back anyway. So I thought I'd give it a shot. What about you two? What academy did you get? <laughs> wow! That means we'll be schoolmates! Let's help each- I'll be going to Charmony Academy. Oh my! I didn't know you <clears throat> It's because Mr. Rekka insisted. He's also a guest lecturer at Charmony Academy. It didn't feel right to- Alright, alright, I get it. You won over the big bad director with your superstar aura. You don't have to show off. Anyway, we're finally done with the admission process. Let's go check out the anniversary. How about we start with the creator's market that Montana mentioned? Oh, uh, by the way, Mr. Rekka asked me about Bellabog. How did he know about that? He also asked about the Xianzhou Alliance. Hmm. Maybe he saw it in the admission documents Himiko submitted. But why did she have to mention that I broke the synthesizer? Thank you. 